Alrighty guys, so to start off today with the spring install, uh, first thing you're going to need is going to be a, it's a T30. You're going to be removing this bolt right here. You're going to go to this side, this bolt right here. After you remove those two bolts, just make sure to remove this seal right here, this black seal. Now you're going to be finding gonna be one, two, three, and then four clips. And for these clips, just be careful, just grab a flathead screwdriver and just lift it up from this little tab and it'll slowly start to come up. Just make sure to not lose them. that it'll slowly pop up. Okay, so after we've removed all the clips and the screws we're gonna remove these uh, two black covers right here side to side. Let's clip them off real quick. And we're gonna remove these bolts right here. This one right here and this one right there. So after we've removed those two bolts we're gonna this is attached to the top so we're just going to be removing the bottom metal piece so we're just going to pull real quick you see how it's coming out just going to pull this out and then we're just going to disconnect this hose right here just push it together push it out and you're free to go Alrighty guys, so now that the shield, we're taking off the shield, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, as you can see, the strut is right here in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and just loosen the strut, not all the way, it's gonna be three bolts. There's one, two, and then there's one back there. We're just gonna loosen them a little bit, we're not gonna loosen them all the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, so I removed my wheel, um, and I'm just gonna take off this bracket right here where the wrench is at. So what I'm using, it's uh, the same thing, a T30, and there's like, it's like this, the, the T30 bolt right there. Have you seen, I'm, I'm struggling to take that out. It got a little worn out, but I was having trouble taking this little bolt out. So what I did, I clamped some pliers to the bolt, and then I'm using my wrench going the opposite direction, I don't know if you can see or clearly focus, okay and I'm just using it to hold the bolt because they were both spinning and I couldn't take it out and I need to take out that bracket so it's it's kind of helping me out I, I just found this this way right now, it's helping me out, it's being productive so yeah, we're gonna take out this bracket it seems it came off already Alrighty guys, so we removed this bolt from right here. So we're gonna push this little bracket out of here. It comes down straight off. Then we're gonna remove the sway bar link. You see, it's a little hard with one hand, but we take this off. And now we're gonna go down here. And you can see it. And then we remove the, this line right here. Right there, comes off. And then from right here, and it's connected straight through. All right, you guys. So now that we removed this side, we're gonna go in ahead and remove the, the brake line. This is a, an eight millimeter socket. So let's go ahead and remove that. All right. So we removed the the brake line. We removed, removed the bolt. So we're just gonna take the brake line right out. Move it to the side right here for right now. Up next is going to be the strut bolt, which is back here. And it is said that it's 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 as soon as you take it off, it won't fall off because it's it's like tightly sealed. So we're going to go ahead and, and take that strut bolt off. This is a let's see, this is a 15. This is a 15. So we're going to go ahead. 
So once we remove this bolt right here, it comes out, it's still intact. So the thing with this is we need to spread these two metals right here. We need to spread that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna put the same bolt, I'm gonna put it on the other side and I'm gonna screw it in. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, uh, I decided to use a spatula in order to uh, help me divide that gap and open it uh, wider. But you know what, I actually failed with that because it's the bolt started making a hole in the spatula. So I went ahead and used a stronger metal. I got a wrench, I put it in the middle and it fit perfectly there. Just be careful with your bolt because I was having the thread in my bolt started wearing out when I was like pressing it against the wrench. So just be a little careful with that guys. Okay, so finally came out of the straw. What I did, I put a wrench, I put a wrench to block the hole. And then I put the bolt to the other side so I could push it against it and start pushing it open. You're gonna struggle, I'm not gonna lie, but it will pop out. Alrighty guys, so the strut is finally out. And for this part of the video, we're gonna need to compress the spring. So I went to my local AutoZone and I ran these guys right here. So we're just gonna hook it up. that after it hooks up you're just gonna tighten it and start compressing the spring boys make sure to to use both of the of the spring compressors so that it can be it can be evenly pressed okay guys alrighty guys so just a little quick side note uh, that bolt is really tough to get out. So what I did, I grabbed the wrench and then I grabbed the T30 and I just pressed it against each other till it decided, till it popped out. You know what I mean? It, it was pretty easy to, to do it that way. So I just pulled them against each other and it became loose pretty easily. So just be aware of that. It's a little hard, but it, it, it'll pop out pretty easily if you do that. Alrighty guys, so now we're doing the rear lowering springs. Uh, it's such a much easier process to do these. It's just simply one bolt and we're all set. So I just put the jack stand, I mean the jack, right here in the bottom of the spring. That way when I lose the bolt, it won't just drop to the floor. I can have something holding it to the, so that it doesn't fall off. And basically it's gonna be this bolt down here, if you guys can see it. It's a size 15. And basically all you're gonna do, you're just gonna unscrew that one bolt and it's just gonna drop down and you'll be able to switch the, the spring. So let's go ahead and try that out. Alrighty guys, so I already released that bolt. I'll show you a better picture up here. So basically it's this one, just unscrew it. And we're gonna try to lower down our uh, jack and see what happens. Alrighty guys, so when you assemble the, the spring, make sure that the letters are always facing up. That's the correct position to, to assemble the spring. Also make sure it seats in, in the little rubber rubber seals that they seat like into place. If not, they won't fit properly, so always make sure that it fits into place. Also, when you're putting the screw back in, it's a little hard to align it so that everything falls in the middle again. 
So just have someone help you out with, with the jack. And then on the other side, you're gonna be over here aligning it. So what I'm doing here, I'm having a little bit of trouble um, putting back the screw in. So I'm just using this little crowbar. I don't know if you could see this little end right here, but this little hole, I'm pushing it. I'm using it to push it down and then I'm able to screw it back in just cause it's a little hard. So that way it goes like, so that the bolt goes straight in. But after that, you're, you're set. It's, it's super simple to do the back ones. Okay. So I put one of my jack stands right next to the, what is it, right next to the sway bar. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little dark right there. I put it right over here just so I can have my, my jack and use it to, to take off the spring. So just go ahead and put your jack under there. And you'll be totally fine. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial video. I know it wasn't perfect. I'm still new at this. This was my first time actually installing lowering springs. So that was a first for me. I know everything I did wasn't perfect, but hey, it worked out for me, you know? So if you guys like the tips, make sure you use them on your installs. And I hope you're, this video helps out you guys because sometimes there's videos and or you, you, you want to install parts, but there's not enough videos so you could see uh, what techniques people use, what tools people use, or just to make it a little bit easier, you know? So um, I haven't had a chance to actually record the car to see how it looks, um, but in the next video, I will be posting how it looks. I will be posting a drone footage video of the car. So keep it tuned if you guys want to see that.